Hi everybody, welcome to the new patch update. Now I'm going to quickly give a little bit of a warning. We are a friendly channel here. We are not <laughs> not mean or racist at all. So if you're going to be a hater, please leave this video now because we are completely diversity abide on this channel. We love every culture and that's fine. Everybody is accepted here and if you're not going to accept everyone, ah. there's the door. First things first, super excited to add a new, well, EA added, um, I guess, I don't want to say, not like, I don't want to say race, but like a new, um, what's it called, love, <laughs> uh, they added some Muslim-esque stuff, I'm gonna say, we got into another culture, there we go, the word, so now we're into another one, we've done a few, and we did Chinese, uh, I know we did, I can't remember if it was Caribbean or what, we did a few other cultures, and we finally gotten down to Muslims, now, I've always loved to make some kind of I wouldn't say uh -huh. they were Muslim sims, but like there was like other like head scarves that I used. I thought it was so beautiful on this one sim, and I fell in love. And I fall in love again with the hijab. Like, oh, okay. So let's get into the items. We have item Muslim inspired items for um, create a sim, and some Muslim inspired kind of like house stuff, I think. But other than that, we have some regular stuff. So. First thing for females is we have the gorgeous hijab, and I actually think I'm going to make her into, like, one of my townie sims. Um, it comes in so many different colors. I really love the one I picked out. I think it's so cute. I'll just showcase them all real quick. My game is having some, well, my recording thing is having some issues, so hopefully I don't have to do this another time. If I do, I'll just repractice. Oh, that one's so pretty, so true for fall. Just practice my words again. So we have some really awesome designs. That's gorgeous too. And then we have another one, which is kind of like, um, I think it's a swimsuit one is what they kind of explained it. We have it in like um, another kind of outfit. And then we get like this one piece. And well, we get three, but we'll get to those. Get this one piece. And it is so cute, I think. It's so cute, like the little combo. It's so many cute little colors. And I, of course, I love this specific outfit. I think she is adorable. And oh, yeah, wait, we have another one. Um, yes, we have the. Um, it's kind of like a formal wear. I paired it up really cute, I think. But it's kind of this little, like, belted dress, is what they call it. But it comes in like very plain basic colors. And you can get into like really formal and then dynamic patterns. Um, this is like your kind of plain classic white. <clears throat> I'm going to fight back my co uh, cough. Um, if you guys haven't noticed. I've been inactive for about a week. It's due to the fact that I was really, really sick. So sorry about that. And then the same hijab. Different kind of basic color. And then we have like this pantsuit which is not Muslim inspired. It's just kind of like in it for the fifth anniversary. Can we say happy fifth anniversary to the Sims guys? Yes. So this comes in like a few colors, kind of like summery, really cute. <clears throat> I'm trying to really hold back this cup, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pull the mic away. I'm not going to cut it out. Okay. This is me telling you I was fully sick. <coughs> Hopefully that didn't get right in your ear. And we have one more thing, which is the swimsuit, I believe. Yeah. And you can kind of see it like, pairs up real nice. It's like a whole outfit. So it's nice and easy. You can't, you know, get confused. And then we have, um, hold on. I think that's everything. Yeah, we do. Just making sure. And then for males, we have, I don't, okay. A knitted kufi. Kufi. I hope I pronounced that right. Kufi? Someone can correct me down below. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of kind of cute. Um, I like it. And then I paired it with the button shirt that they come. I see a lot of like traditional, I'm going to say traditional Muslims kind of wearing this kind of stuff. Um, there's 
actually a lot of beautiful like dress off like I think it's almost like a sheer material I actually work um, I'm a security guard I work two jobs that's one of mine and I actually cool. work um, doing like helping with the parking at a mosque for two hours on one day and some of them like this one lady I was talking to like she had like this beautiful like dress and like leggings but there was like s slits in the side of the leg or uh, the dress and it was like this beautiful like burgundy very very pretty but kind of classy like I would wear it but I wouldn't because I'm not like Muslim or anything hmm. but yeah I kind of paired it and I think from men we get kind of like a little um fancier shirt that comes in a few different colors it's okay Ooh. I like that it's cute and then we got some stuff for children we only get I think well two things we got like this Muslim inspired dress. No hijab for the kid, like the female kid. Now I'm actually really, really upset about that because kids wear hijabs too, I've seen. And I think there should have been a hijab option for the kid. Um, but here's the dress quickly because I don't believe we have any hijab or anything kind of options for kids. It's super cute. We're just gonna quickly check just to make sure that I'm not. I mean, we have this, which isn't, like, horrible. And that came with city living. So, I mean, it's not horrible. But I feel like that's more of, like, a guy style. You know what I mean? I would have liked to see a little bit more, especially with the hair like that. And then we got one more thing, which is these, like, little biker shorts, which are in. I would have liked to see some biker shorts for the um, adult females that I would have liked to see. And then for the little boys, we have two things. We have this shirt, which is like your Muslim-inspired shirt, again. It comes in some really cool patterns. I'm definitely making, like, a Muslim-inspired family. And I'm using, I'm definitely using my girl. I actually might use both of them. I'm going to edit them a little bit. But if you guys know of any, I'm going to check it out online, too. Like, Muslim-inspired, like, architecture. Um, not, like, mosque style. I'm not going to make a mosque. That would be... I could never like they're very intricate in the design and the details and the architecture but I want to make like a Muslim and Sarah house I'm definitely I, like I'm working on Oasis right now uh, and I find like Oasis I'm adding like a lot of Spanish and like Puerto Rican kind of like I don't think they're kind of the same like I'm kind of like adding like Israeli and like Indian kind of like families into that area because I feel like a lot of them come from hotter like continents around the world so it kind of makes sense that and Strangerville but Strangerville is kind of strange so uh, eh. anyways for casual we got just like this little pull though you know stripes and then I think it comes with some basic yeah it comes with some basics kinda I mean it's not fully basic but I mean it's cute for a kid it looks like we're about to go golfing you know so we're gonna quickly jump in game hmm. because there's a few build and buy objects um, which I would like to talk about quickly <laughs> and then we're done um, on this channel like yes I'm a white person I'm also Canadian though which I would really like to point out because we're really accepting to people like really accepting and like that's why like I'm huge on diversity so um, my channel is kind of huge on diversity. I'm a white person. Of course, I'm going to like to play with my mainstream white characters, like the Sims. But I do like to mix it up and put, like, other cultures into my games. The only reason why I'm a little bit more shy with that, and I'm going to say it's completely out of ignorance. Um, I don't want to insult anybody. Like, I would love to, like, play with a Muslim family. But I usually tend to, like, put those, like... I, like play with my main sim and then like have like a muslim friends family because like i don't know enough of their traditions like when i make a muslim family and sim i'm gonna have to do a lot of research online to make it um because i'm gonna try to making a huge like sim file save which will be interesting sorry a little sick still <laughs> but um Let's go, you know, I just kind of threw them in the house. Oh, look, the kid has already made a mess. We have some doors. We're definitely going to start with the doors. Um, let's go into build by a little bit. Might as well. Um, so we have, like, this main a double door. And it comes with, like, a few different designs. 
I love this one so much. But yeah, it comes with a few different designs. Super cute. And then we have this like a little potter kind of like potted plant thing. Now this one isn't like your typical kind of potted plant, you know. It actually is super cool. See, by itself, it's like this, right? You drag it and it connects. So, I can't really show you because there's an intersecting thing by itself track love that we don't have to you know move objects for that we got three new window styles I mean it kind of fits the same pattern you know we got a whole bunch of different cute patterns which I'm so excited to you know get out there and be a little knowledge on some of the architecture I could go with along with it <clears throat> I had a cough again I'm sorry guys <coughs> mm, super cute I'm not gonna cut it out so you guys know I was actually sick and not avoiding you I'm gonna drink some water because I feel like I'm gonna have a coughing attack. You know, I might just, I just might. Okay. We're back. I totally had a coughing attack, so it's kind of one of the reasons why I'm not really recording right now that much. Um, and I wasn't really editing because this is the first day that I've been feeling a lot better for, so I'm feeling really inspired lately with the sims i just kind of want to add this before you go through things actually i'll show you the the swatches while i talk how about that because you can really see what they are so um i was feeling really inspired with the sims lately when i was sick um i played a lot of stardew valley i'm not gonna lie but i don't know i just i want to make really good content and i'm back on the sims i kind of just get addicted to a game for a really long time and then i kind of go and i have a lot of good ideas just a lot of, a lot of money <laughs> so um so those are our wallpapers we have some new foundations i'll get to the <laughs> stuff that's obvious over here we have um you know like a little stilted foundation um i didn't really grab it oh it's not grabbing that's why and then we have like this fence here um, it does come in like different colors. I mean, you could change it up if you really, really want to do. Um, but I like to show you what I already have, so I don't have to. So I just want to show you something really cool. There is a railing. Um, maybe you know what? I'll show you the front. How about that? Because I want to showcase something else in the back. Um, so we're going to go at night time and see this railing lights up. Oh, there is actually, my bad, I forgot, there actually is, um, I think a matching piece to this. Unless I'm going insane, maybe there's not. Hold on, let's see. Um, towel wall, no. It's not, this isn't technically Muslim inspired, at least it's not listed under Muslim inspired, so. I like it though. Railing, yeah, stair railing. Oh, right here. My bad. I thought I put that in. Super cute. Now, if we swing to the back, we have some new lights. They're spotlights, and they just kind of like, you know, light up things. Now, let's say I wanted to go in live mode for a second, right? And I want to change it, right? Um, let's say this. No. Oh. Let's go yellow. I. I think someone said you can kind of manipulate it. I'm not exactly sure how, but... See, like, it's yellow now, right? And I'm sure... I can kind of change where it's directed to as I turn. Which is kind of neat. So that's really cool. We go back in to, you know, the build mode. We have a few outdoor patio kind of stuff. So first, oh, I need to <laughs> not be in build mode. What am I saying? Um, so we have two kind of like loungers. Now, to be honest, when they gave us the free loungers, um, I'll show you which ones I'm talking about. Before the island living, yeah, this. I was like, okay, I get it. Because I remember when I was younger, I actually had... Um, my mom was dating a guy who, like, owned, like, a trailer in the trailer park. So, we, like, we would go, like, for summer vacation a lot to the trailer park. And we, we owned these. And, like, you've seen these at the pools all the time. Except for they would never say this way. They'd be really dirty. These make sense. But all the nice ones are in the island living pack, which kind of makes sense. 
but it's nice to finally get some nice ones because we get like some normal color ones like these and then we get like a lot of funky ones so we got I am going to pay tribute to Urban Sims right now. We got some penguins. <laughs> so we got some flamingos, obviously. Um, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Urban Sims. Check her out. There was a whole penguin flamingo thing. I remember watching the video and stuff, but I don't remember what it's from. I just remember she did a recording, put a flamingo down, and called it a penguin, and then it just became a huge joke. So I have to explain myself because, you know what, you guys are not intellectually inclined to know maybe I don't know I'm kidding we got grilled cheeses which is on brand for the sims and then we have our plum bobs I think they're the new ones though but yeah I love how they put flamingos because I think like it is a tribute to Jen maybe maybe not but they come in some cute sizes. We have the Return of the Gnome. The little guy is so cute. He's a pedestal, actually. So he's going to hold some stuff. So. Oh, wow. I mean, do we want a basketball? Here, have a basketball. Want some laundry detergent? Have some laundry detergent. Freaky gnome thing? I don't know what it is. Have it. Some cards from another. From another. I don't know cultural update I guess we'll call it I don't know <coughs> even these were from when I'm gonna try getting into more like you know content update videos we'll see how it does on our channel if you guys like it and then we have this bad boy it's just a table nothing fancy it comes in the sh same shades you know same shades the plum bobs and flamingos are on the bottom and wait where's her grilled cheeses you didn't tell me you forgot the grilled cheese in this one? Okay. Fine. And then we have a few other. Now, I'm going to zoom right into this. I had this. I swear to God. I had this probably in a table. Again, back of the trailer. Like, we had, you know, frosted glass. You know, your 90s. Such a thing. Such a thing. I love how we get, like, a rose gold tone. Um, some people say these are basic. I don't need a purple table. I don't need... I need my basic white, gray, black... Maybe I would have liked a brown, but I'll take the rose gold over brown. Again, we get the chairs, same kind of color combos. We get the penguins and the grilled cheeses and all that. So it's kind of the same deal. Are you sure you don't get the grilled cheeses here? Definitely don't miss out on the opportunity. And then we have <laughs> some wall decor. Now, I literally just finished a video, which is probably not going to go up um, till maybe tomorrow or the day after I'm kind of already making this pretty late I'm gonna try uploading this now like I said I'm having some issue with my editing software this is the problem I stream for you guys for Stardew Valley well for my streaming I have to change my OBS settings for streaming instead of video while um, The Sims 4 is really hard to record and I have to have on specific settings now I had taken a picture of those specific settings and like run my game smoothly because I like pre-recorded a whole bunch of knots of berry and I'm the last not so buried that went up is actually um, a pre-recording from my old laptop from probably like seven months ago. I pre-recorded not so berry like it was the death like of me. Like I was never gonna play again. Like I recorded and recorded and recorded so much. I just sometimes get so into games and I don't know. Not so berry is one of those things where it's like I'm going with the flow and doing what I want. Um, I have two ideas for some series that are. Well, I have a lot of ideas, actually. Two ideas for actually series. One is a Realm of the Magic series. Can't tell you what that is. And one is... I can't tell you, actually, what it is. But it's super unique. I haven't seen anyone do it on YouTube yet for Sims. So, I'd love to get that. And then I'm doing some throwback casts and builds. So, yeah. Yesterday, I, I want to make a save file. Let's see if it ever comes out. If not, it's for my own game and play. And this would have been perfect. And like, I kind of made, I'll quickly give you guys a little peek because it's going to be coming out. Now, the recording is a little glitchy, but I'm going to be doing a voiceover. So I think that's going to excuse the glitchiness. We'll go through it together and see how bad it is. But I made this. Um, I forget what this means. Um, I wanted, you know, it to be like Spanish, you know? Now, keep in mind, I made a Spanish Mexican kind of style house. I do not own Island Adventure. No, 
No. <laughs> island. <laughs> the island pack, and then well, oh my god, jungle adventure. I don't own, and the island. It's not called Get to the Island. It's not called Get to the Island Paradise. It's something island. I don't have it. So I was using just pretty much like base game kind of style and some other kind of esque stuff. A lot, a lot of city living kind of came with more of an Indian style, to be honest. But you know, every time, quick thing about you know diversity and exception. I want to quickly, yes, we're kind of chatting a little bit. So if this is a little bit more than what you came for, you just came for the content update. I'm sorry, you got the whole me, okay? Um, if you guys ever have any opinions, nice opinions about any families I make or any houses I make or even any cultures, like I want to try to like, to, you know, diversify myself and like learning different cultures. Like I want to, like I said, I'm making a world and like in a world, I, there's naturally different cultures, right? So, um, like I want to make a few different type of Chinese families, Asian families. Um, I'm bad with geography. So that means I'm naturally bad with racism, <laughs> in the sense of Indian and then Arabic that's all I know um, I know Jamaican and I know Caribbean that's all I know <laughs> so if you guys ever want to um, uh, obviously Asian I know Japanese I need to travel the world, put it that way but I'm always open to learning um, geography and um, I guess religious standards I'd be interested in knowing, but not too, too much. I'm not, like, a religious person. I am a religious person, but I'm not, like, learning religions kind of person. I kind of just believe in one God, all God, because everyone is great in their own way. It's just in my editing software. Actually editing a video immediately after I record it, so bravo for me for finally doing that, because I never do that. Um, kudos to me. So... We kind of cut right now. I was talking about one god, all god. When I had maybe another five minutes, maybe talking. Um, I don't remember what I said. So I do kind of go with over the little variations. I think I did say sorry for the whole <clears throat> spiel on me and stuff. But you know what? You're learning more than me. Oh, I think I didn't mention. I might have already mentioned this. The whole hit me up on Twitter. Let's talk, you know. Um, cultures and stuff because I want to put cultures in my game if I've already said that I don't want to bore you but my Twitter is in the description my GoFundMe is in the description so if you want to donate some money because I buy like you know sure makes French stuff making this you know that'd be great I also love these tiles seriously I think that's all I needed to show you anyways so I can finish up here uh, you know my whole outro you know subscribe to my channel um, give it a big thing, thumbs up hopefully you like the you know up free we love free things content update you know if you really love it you should probably shout out you know the sim gurus the sims for being so wonderful and giving us yet another free update they don't have to do that they're just blessed enough to do that and i love it it's sweet because you know what you're one of those people that can't afford to buy packs you still get some free stuff and i think that's pretty freaking great to have that opportunity so so <laughs> Last thing is stairs. <laughs> I almost forgot to showcase stairs. <laughs> One of the biggest things in the pack. I nearly forgot to show. Um, let's just, you know what? We don't care about this. Let's, let's just bulldoze it. I'm gonna need to bulldoze it eventually anyways, so. Boom. <laughs> stairs. The magical thing of stairs that I, <laughs> I forgot. Okay. We got some stairs, right? Some beautiful stairs that we can turn and turn. Hold on. <laughs> Doesn't help that it's not very long. You gotta do this to move it lower. Kinda just have to look for. You know, another one? Whoa, look. Boom. Like, you know, you can keep changing it up. 
You can just keep manipulating it. See? Like, I really <laughs> don't get these stairs quite so much. But, that's a funky staircase. <laughs> stairs. They can do some wild stuff, man. You like stairs? I want an L shape. Boom. But, like, one of those? Oh, wait, that didn't do it. Haha. <laughs> I still don't really get how to do this. Hold on. I mean, yeah, one of those. There you go. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to learn how to do this, man. This is kind of hard. Okay, <laughs> now we're done. Sorry about that. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that. I hate myself. This is like the biggest part of the update is stairs. Like, people were freaking out about it. I was freaking about it. And I forgot to add it in my video. Oh, you got it still before I did it, so. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn the notification bell on, and follow all of my social media handles. For some reason, my video recordings are cutting out really flippin' early. And I don't know why. <laughs> okay, bye guys. My father told me when I was young Don't play with fire, be careful, son But we were flames and fell in love